Readings for the day, 2022, on Thursday, July 7th. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, Thursday of the fourth week. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Brethren, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry in order to make my fellow Jews jealous, and thus save some of them. For if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? If the dough offered as first fruits is holy, so is the whole lump. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you, a wild olive shoot, were grafted in their place to share the richness of the olive tree, do not boast over the branches. If you do boast, remember it is not that it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand fast only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God. Severity toward those who have fallen, but God's judgment, but God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. And then the others, if they do not persist in their unbelief, will be grafted in. For God has the power to graft them in again. For if you have been cut from what is by nature a wild olive tree and grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? The Gospel, Thursday of the fourth week of Matthew. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord said to his disciples, All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The readings from the com for the commemoration, the epistle for the holy woman. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, before faith came, we were confined under the law, kept under constraint until faith should be revealed, so that the law was our custodian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. But now the faith has come. We are no longer under a custodian, for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God, through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Neither is There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no better than a slave, though he is the owner of all the estate, but he is under guardians and trustees until the date set by the Father. So with us, when we were children, we were slaves to the elemental spirits of the universe. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. The Gospel for the Holy Woman The reading is for the, from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time the crowd followed him and th thronged about him, and there was a woman who had a flow of blood for twelve years, and who had suffered much 
under many any and there was a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years and who had suffered much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and was no better but rather grew worse she had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the hemorrhage ceased. And she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone forth from him, immediately turned around turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had been done to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion, Synaxarion from Menaion. On July 7th, we commemorate our devout Father Thomas of Mount Malion. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyr Kiriaki. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs Peregrinus and those with him, Lucian, Pompey, Hesychius, Papius, Saturninus, and Germanus. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyrs Eustathius, Polycarp, and Evangelos. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Fast free, all foods allowed. <laughs>